Hello, I'm Derek Phillips. I'm a consultant dermatologist and I work at One Welbeck, the Lindo Wing and the Cadogan Clinic in Chelsea. So phototherapy is the treatment of skin disorders using light from fluorescent light bulbs. Um, so for hundreds of years, we've known that uh, sunlight um, has benefits for skin diseases. And um, this is because it harnesses um, ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B waves within the sunlight. Now, phototherapy comes in three forms. Uh, there is the narrowband UVB phototherapy, which uses a very narrow part of the UVB spectrum. And it's the most commonly prescribed form of phototherapy. There is um, broadband um, phototherapy, which is all of the UVB spectrum, and this has fallen out of favor in more recent times. And then the final form of phototherapy is Sorolens plus UVA. So this is slightly different because it combines um, UVA, um, which is the most um, potent form of ultraviolet light and penetrates deeper into the skin, uh, with a compound called a Sorolen, um, which sensitizes the skin to the effects of UV radiation. And it can either be taken as a tablet or applied directly to the skin. Um, so PUVA, as it's called, um, tends to be reserved for those who have not responded to other forms of phototherapy. So phototherapy can be used to treat a whole range of inflammatory skin conditions. So common conditions like eczema, psoriasis, less common conditions such as pityriasis, lichenoides chronica, um, pigmentary disorders such as vitiligo. Um, and it can also um, be used paradoxically to treat a, um, a sun-induced rash called polymorphic light eruption. Um, phototherapy is also um, has um, use utility in treating uh, some forms of skin lymphoma. So it's a very diverse um, treatment modality and it's a useful tool for us as dermatologists. Uh, so phototherapy uh, reduces inflammation in the skin and uh, this is the crux of the reason why we use it in dermatology. Um, so it works well in psoriasis and in some types of eczema. So in patients with these conditions who have this treatment, they'll notice not only a reduction in the severity and extent of their condition, um, but also their symptoms will improve, i.e. Um, reduction in itch or irritation. Um, in conditions like vitiligo, where you lose the pigment in the skin, uh, prolonged causes of phototherapy can actually induce repigmentation. And as I mentioned earlier, um, the, in the condition known as polymorphic light eruption, um, annual phototherapy can prevent patients from developing severe flares during the year. Um, phototherapy, like many treatments, um, has some associated um, side effects. So, in the short term, um, it will cause um, it can cause dryness and itchiness of the skin, and so it's important that um, during the course of treatment um, you have a good moisturizer. Um, phototherapy um, can also um, cause tannin, um, and has been associated can be associated with redness, and very rarely burning. Um, the latter two are uncommon because prior to commencing treatment, um, patients undergo a safety test which serves to highlight those who are more susceptible to, the, um, to UV radiation and uh, therefore require a lower dose in a slightly altered um, treatment regime. Um, in the longer term, uh, phototherapy is associated with skin aging and some types of phototherapy have been associated with skin cancer. Uh, so it can take um, a few weeks before the benefits or effects of phototherapy are evident. Um, of course, some people will react um, or see the benefits sooner than others. Um, a full course of phototherapy usually takes place over six to eight weeks. So yes, it's normal to develop a tan um, during the course of treatment. Um, this is a natural reaction of the skin to ultraviolet light, and it's a mechanism to protect 
the cells of the skin from damage caused by UV radiation. So most um, patients will notice that they have developed a tan by the end of treatment.